Hi. Well, um, I've topped up the tray. I have moved all of the stuff we've done over to the side and um, I have seen some absolute beauties in here so let's continue let's just get straight into it <coughs> let's put the tray excuse me over there um, okay you can see right single earrings are here gathering a pile um, oh no we've lost her there's a rhinestone right there okay so we'll keep that I might put that in the little tray there. Okay, right, let's get started. Hello, um, it's a beautiful day. It's cloudy but warm. Um, I've been out in the garden, of course, and um, it's time to be inside and do another video for you guys before I head out to my Italian lesson this afternoon because I'm learning Italian. So um, yeah, let's get started and do one. Um, first of all, I want to get this little guy out because I don't want him to be damaged look at this i'm going to come up close for you this is marcasites let me come in there you go oh look at the sparkle on this thing oh my goodness how can you not be bedazzled by that beauty uh, so um, i'm not going to say it's vintage because of that clasp unless that clasp has been Put on later let's just have a little look and see yeah you know what I would even guess that maybe it has been put on later because the rest of it really just oozes old so it's circles diamonds and oval shapes full of marcasites all the way down we have a box oh we don't even have the box class see yeah it looks like it needs something like that doesn't it I'm just going to um, check out the back see if there's anything in there I can't see any names but you know me I need my loop ah what's that there we have a name Okay, let's have a little look and see. I'm just going to take, I'll let you see first, see if we can see. Let me come around. So yeah, I think this clasp is definitely old. Uh, not the clasp, the bracelet. But I think that we... Okay, so it says sterling. Let's flip it. J, J. I'm not sure who that is. Definitely. So this piece here is part of the bracelet, no doubt. But it's this one at the other end that um, I think has been put on. Although it is soldered on there. Uh, unless they've done it there. Okay, but anyway, look at it. Is that just not the most prettiest thing you have ever seen? Marker sites are shining. Okay, I'm going to put that up there with the sapphire bracelet. Can you see? Uh, I might zoom out, that might make it easier. See up the top here? Sapphire bracelet, marker sites and sterling. Oh my goodness. So, you know, pretty good. I would have to say I'm pretty happy with this bag so far. Yep. All right, let's continue. Um, the other thing I saw was this as I was pulling it all out of the bag. These are, um, oh, they're not real, I thought they were real. Okay, so it's a faux pearl bracelet. And they look really nice though. It's got a chunky Cuban chain. And it says... Is that P? Oops. Uh, let's have a look and see. who that is and if you do know please please tell me I have been asking that a little bit when I don't recognize something um, but so far no one has um, volunteered any information I understand that you might not know but if you do know could you let me know 
because um, I'm always, you know, happy to learn. And um, yeah, I don't know what that is. Okay, great. So faux pearls, but it's really pretty, big and chunky. I like chunky. Okay, let's go on. And now, what's this guy? Okay, this is another beauty. Look at this. I'm going to turn Prezi on now. Let's get that on. Um, okay, let's come in and let me just show you before I open it. So we've got little rhinestones and then all these little beautiful coloured rhinestones. So gold, golden and amber coloured, peridot coloured, amethyst colour. I have a feeling they're probably just glass, but we'll just test it and see, shall we? Because we have Prezi right here. So I'm just going to open this clasp and see if there's anything on the clasp. You can't always guarantee that there's going to be something like we know. Um, okay, made in China. So maybe there's going to be a mark on here somewhere. See a little bit of green there. It's easy to clean though. I'm just going to have a quick look like this and then let's just test. If it's pretty, look at it. It's so sparkly and oh my goodness, I'm so bedazzled by it all. It's beautiful. I'll just have a look. If it's reading anything, I'll bring it over and show you. But it's, no, they're all glass. But super spangly beautifulness anyway look at that how gorgeous let's just lay that there okay what have we got here we have white beads this is ah okay this is a long really long like that's doubled over and it's still uh long so white acrylic beads with black and gold seed beads in between and it has a a name hmm let's come in and see hong kong awesome okay so it's a box clasp of yeah it's a box clasp Nice, so vintage piece, thank you Hong Kong. Yep, so if it was me, I'd be probably doubling that around, having it as a double. Anyway, it's really nice. Uh, I see pearls. I always seem to zoom in on the pearls. Okay, I'm gonna pull this guy out first because it's long and it wants to come out and it has a, a shepherd's hook and it has a name. Wow, we're lucky with the names today. What's this one say? I thought I was going great with my um, focusing for a minute there. I'm just going to come out. See if we can have a look. I really can't read that. Oh, it might say Japan. Let me just have a quick look. Oh yes, it says Japan. There you go. That's pretty better. Okay, let's have a look. So we've got white acrylic beads and we've got these beautiful little frosted, frosted ones with some gold tone findings in between. And then you get these um, cute little, these remind me of, I know they're not wedding cake beads, I'm pretty sure, but they still remind me of it. And then you go to the plain and then the frosted and it's got the shepherd's hawk clasp. So we can just go like, um, like that. And there you go. It's cute. Vintage. All right. That's a bit of a tangled mess here. Let's have a look and see. All right, first of all, let's do this chain. I think this is not magnetic. Let's have a look and see if we've got anything on the class. Oh, we do. Oh my goodness, I didn't expect that. What does that say? 
made in Italy, I believe. Let's have a look. So this would be an awesome chain. Just that? Yeah, 95 Italy. Wow, what a nice chain. Oh my goodness, so the links are like this. And okay, um, there's another bit, which is March 95. So hold on a second, have I got two chains here? Um, I'm not sure how that works. Like, let's have a look and we'll lay it out and see. So what I've got is two silver chains made in Italy with two clasps. So, oh, unless it's just, it becomes a bracelet and a necklace to match. I won't take it off because it's, my finger's still sore. But yeah, so um, that would be your bracelet and then that would be your necklace or one long necklace with a beautiful pendant on there and we have a lot of pendants we know that already don't we with all those beautiful stones I started out with those on that YouTube video in the very beginning that's a gorgeous chain love it okay that's pretty nice okay let's have a look at these little beauties now this is definitely vintage. This is gorgeous, really old. Look at the quality of it. It's hanging in there and it's got, um, pretty sure they're faux. Let's just check those um, stones. You know what costume jewelry is like. Generally don't find uh, genuine stones, but test them and if I do I'll let you know no they're just rhinestones okay so let's have a look at this little beautiful piece I just want to take the clasp out and check it nothing on the clasp but the pe the seeds um, the seeds the pearls are beautiful so it's a three strander we're going graduated small to large um, the smallest one will be a choker sort of length and then coming down to sort of more um, your clavicle here. Um, let's put it on the bus so you get a better idea. It's beautiful. The pearls are definitely a champagne colour. Um, gorgeous. And maybe that's not something you, you'd wear, but maybe it's something you'd just keep and, and uh, as a collector acrylic be um, acrylic pearls but really really pretty I'm just gonna put those just there because they're a bit beautiful okay let's go in for something something wild radio wild um, faux fur leopard print or cheetah with a, a necklace that has a shepherd's hook which I wasn't expecting uh, let's have a little look and see if we have a name. There is no name on this and it is silver tone. Um, double check. Yep, silver tone, um, leopard. It's fur, but it's not real, I'm sure. And that's the back. Okay. And we have um, a stretchy bracelet with rhinestones, gold tone. All the rhinestones are there. Just check the other side. So we know that sometimes, even on these stretchy bracelets, there's going to be a mark. Not this time though. Okay. And a gold tone chain with a glass pendant and it's it's raised. This reminds me of sea glass a bit. It's got that feel to it. a notch but I'm not worried about that there you go let's get this great big thing out of the way these these remind me of and I hope this is not um, you know like <coughs> part of me a swear word well it's not a swear word but I hope it's not like something bad to say but these remind me of thunder beads look at them they're massive so it's a multi-strand 
um, statement piece and these are really heavy duty so yeah if you like that kind of thing um, or you could just buy it and use the beads for something else because they are quite gorgeous I do like the beads and we have a mark though so what does this say oh, it's just another plunder remember we had a plunder yesterday so that's a plunder design plunder so yeah big and uber chunky so there's chain there's faux pearls and little dangles and then you've got your big thundery ones down the bottom here okay just turn that down one notch there we go okay what have we got here this is a bracelet it has the peace sign um, this is like a zip and that's the clasp there just undo it and it has some writing on the back. Jav? No, I have no idea who Jav is. There you go. It's kind of different, isn't it? Silver tone. Not silver tone, but I definitely think it's um, stainless steel then. Or maybe nickel. Okay. What else have I got here? Hmm. Well, this is a little bit cute. Um, oh, very tight stretch. I'm not sure if that's good or not. But it's got cute little dangles and it's heavy. So these are these beads here are um, gorgeous. They're not... They're not magnetic. I'm just actually going to do a scratch on those because this, this um, frosty one here is drawing me in. Let's see what we can find here. Uh, definitely copper okay no problem so yeah costume bracelet I won't put it on but um, nice um, let's grab a few things from the back here okay this is a it's like a rope necklace it has the pull ties. I'm going to try it out in a second. And it's got wooden beads. So, yeah, it's, if, it really feels tight. It's going in craft. It's a bit jammed. And we have a, another bracelet woven. This one's in not too bad condition. I just want to see if this pull works. Um, yeah, it does. Okay. That's nice. And it's clean. I don't think it's been worn. It looks okay to me. And I'm pretty fussy. So, yep, there you go. And we have a, definitely a stone um, bracelet here. So I look, I think I've got um, amethyst, uh, possibly a venturine. And I think that's going to be an amethyst as well. So let's do a check. Let's see. Yep, okay, this one's going up to, way up to, off the aquiline and halfway between jadeite and spinel. So that's, um, I'll just bring you in that you can see a bit better. Okay, that was this one. So let's try this one. And this one is amethyst. Um, let's go this one. This one is definitely between jadeite and spinel. Let's try this one over here. This one is amethyst as well. So amethyst and um, jadeite spinel. Nice. Love my beads. Let me put it on. Yep. Stretch is good. Stretch is nice. What have I got here? Okie dokie, what have we got here? I'm not actually sure. Okay, we've got some stretch going on. So I think it's a bracelet, but it's... Um, I think I'm just gonna put it in craft. Someone will enjoy the beads, I'm sure. If I don't sell the craft bag, I will um, probably break it up and 
make it into a um, like a total bead lot look how pretty this is oh this is gorgeous so we've got um, four color tones here I'm going to come in and show you up close because it's beautiful all right so we've got copper we've got brass we've got silver tone these are all tones silver tone and gold tone and it is a a necklace but I love it I love it I think because I just love how it feels see and it's really shiny it's in great condition it's got some wooden beads for your detail up here and then you've got um, a leather cord with a clasp no name I wonder who made that See, these are like little paddles. It's gorgeous. Let's put that on the bust so you can see it better. It's kind of tribal. Yeah, I like it. Okay, lay that there. Alrighty, let's have a look. We have an owl. Okay, oh my goodness, he's lost the rhinestone there. So let's keep our fingers crossed that it, that I find it because he's super cute. He's heavy. And we have a silver tone chain. And yep, silver tone. And I don't believe it has a, it doesn't have a name, but he's really cute. So let's see if we can find the, the rhinestone. Okay. Um, we're still here, what's this? Okay, this is, um, this is very sweet. This looks like it's brass, just like, yeah, brass tone. It's got copper coming through on the back. If you have a look, you can see a little bit of the copper starting to come through. And it's on a brass chain. So it's just got that antique vintagey kind of look about it. Um, you know, faux, faux antique. It's not really, yeah with two beads. I'll just test those beads because they feel a bit cold. Let's have a look and see. No, they're just glass. Okay. Okay. Um, we have a little silver tone toggle clasp bracelet with, these feel like garnets. I always say that and then it's always glass, but let's test it and see. And it's glass, <laughs> but they, um, they look like it. Look at them, they're frosted, but they're really pretty. Someone made that. Okay, we have a brassy tone pendant that's like a medallion. And it's in pretty good condition and there's there's no um, no magnet magnetic pull but it's uh, definitely just a brassy tone silver tone oh and <laughs> I was watching through one of my videos because I needed to for some reason and um, I noticed I said um, a couple of really like glaringly obvious mistakes and I thought oh my goodness um, anyway so a couple of times I've said gold tone when it's silver tone um, and a couple of other ones, but obviously I'm, you know, I'm really trying to cover everything in my brain regarding each piece and um, maybe sometimes I'm just uh, under under pressure. So yeah, hopefully I'll relax into it um, a bit more. I thought I had been, but when I see the mistakes, I think, mm, okay. <laughs> so anyway, this is a stretchy bracelet. We have black plastic beads and little Brighton looking filigree um, spaces in between. It's nice, the stretch is good. Should I just wear that? Because I haven't got any bracelets on today. And here's another one, this is nice, I like this. So this is um, gold tone, silver tone, and maybe rose gold tone. And it's, you know that fish that, um, <coughs> represents pardon me 
um, a religious symbol. I think it's that fish. And it says, love, hope, faith. Love, hope, faith, all the way around. It's got all its um, rhinestones. Let's have a look on the back, see what we can see. Can't see anything. But anyway, it's nice. And stretch is quite nice. I'll put that on this hand. Uh, this one's probably it's a bit big for me. Okay. Um, let's have a look. Right here we've got a um, just a leather cord bracelet with some gold and amethyst and blue and red glass beads. I think they're acrylic. No, they feel like glass. Yep, just a little bracelet. This thing is a, it's very light. Some people might like light necklaces. So, um, yep, it's light and it is blue marble. And it has a bronzy kind of coppery colored, sort of a, a mash of the two um, color chains and yeah, it's just great big links. Okay. And we have a Mary medallion. With Mary M on the back and across. On a gold tone chain. A silver tone, see, there you go. A silver tone chain, sorry about that. Okay. Let's pull, I've got some little things at the back here let's delve down the back and do some i know there's, there's little ones i can see them okay we have a watch i can't close that band oh there you go and it says quartz it feels um it feels a bit light like I don't know, I might put it in a watch lot. It's probably a good idea. I seem to be getting a lot of watchy um, watches at the moment. Okay, we have a pair of wooden earrings and they have posts with peachy acrylic circles, dingle dangles. It's kind of got a real 70s vibe about it, haven't they? I could put backs on those if you need them. Um, singles, singles singles we have a keychain um, gold tone it's fairly light but um, that'd be nice for you know like you could uh, hang it off your you know your little child's backpack going to school and put on their favorite little you know Mickey Mouse or Winnie the Pooh key ring okay this is a ring stretchy ring um, and it has leaves on it like a wreath I think it's about a seven. I can't see any names inside it. It just feels like costume to me. Okay. If I can see matches, I will pair them up and get, get them on the other side. Um, I can see gorgeous ring earrings here. Let me just move these up here for you so you can see more. See, these guys, they just need their matches and then we can put those over there. So there's heaps of earrings happening. Okay, let's just keep going. Let's get rid of all the earrings and things. That's a pendant, angel. Mm, silver tone, it's nice and heavy. Okay, earrings. Look forward to finding some of these matches. Okay, I can. let's do this necklace. It's gold, uh, it's silver, and looks like it's handmade with silver, uh, silver beads and pink beads in between, and it's a necklace. I can't wait to wash this white tablecloth. It's so dirty, but I can't, until we finish this bag, I'm not, I'm not moving anything. Nice. Next one, oh, it's a white, uh, this is a vintage, gorgeous beads. They're acrylic, but they feel nice and heavy. Spring ring clasp. 
no name. But yeah, that's a choker. It's nice. Loving the vintage. And I didn't do this one, did I? This is a... It's a... Okay, it's a bracelet, stretchy bracelet with seed beads, black and clear and some dangles. Okay, let's keep going. We have a cuff bracelet with a, a padlock on it. Oh, it's got all, it's full of rhinestones. Let's just make sure all the rhinestones are there. This is sort of like rose gold tone and I don't see any mark on the inside. So just a costume piece. It's nice. Yeah. Um, another bracelet. This one is wooden beads, the Heshi beads. I'm not sure what the wood is though, if it's coconut shell, um, a lot of people seem to know straight away. I'm not familiar with that yet. Okay. Here is a, another one. This one I can see straight away has a name. Let's see if we can see what it says. Avon. Okay. Let's have a look. So it's a faux tiger's eye with wooden beads and a lobster claw clasp and let's just put it out for you it's actually really pretty and it would look really nice with a summer's dress you know if you're going to the beach or um, just I, I can just imagine that on a hot summer's day it's nice don't write off Avon Avon's got some good stuff and um, the vintage stuff is is quite popular as well so you know I'm never I'm never worried when I get Avon Avon pieces Okay, so this is rose gold um, necklace. With peachy coloured, um, the foil. Oh yeah, no, the foil's not coming off. They look like they've got AB coating on them, those, those um, faceted beads. Cabochons, it's not really, it feels a bit chintzy. Well, let's just put that in, um, let's just get rid of that one. This now is, I wonder if this is a, a mood stony thing. It's not, and it's definitely, I'm not even gonna test it because it's not gold. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not a stone, but it's very sweet. Just trying to get a focus on the actual stone. Yeah, it's amethysty colour and it's a bracelet, it's expandable and I don't see a name on here. So we'll put that there, then we've got a few others. Um, this one is a brass bangle with just one single little do the lucky thing. This is broken so we'll put that in craft straight away. Um, this is a double one. So these are quite nice. If you got these all together, that would be, um, that would make them really, you know, a nice set. They're all brass tone. Look at this one. Oh, this one's got a little um, blue stone, another brass one. And I'm just gonna try and put this last one. Oh, this is sweet. Look at this one. So they can all go together like that. I like it when there's a, a few like that. It's all mushed up together. It's good. Stacking. Yep, they're nice. Too big for me though. But, yeah, really nice. Okay. And we have a... It's just a ring necklace. Um, it's gold tone earring on the side of bronze costume piece oh, look at this thing oh my goodness look at this check out the sparkles and oh it's broken I mean look at the sparkles on there could you just look at that all day and just like 
I think I'd just be bedazzled, like be hypnotized by it. It's so beautiful. I wonder if that was a Swarovski, because look in there, there's a nice big crystal in there. But I can't see, there's no name and it's broken. That is a shame. Let's pop that in craft as well. It's a nice craft bag then getting built up here. Okay, let's just, um, let's take this one out because it's very long. Okay, we have a barrel clasp and I believe these are going to be vintage. Individually knotted, one necklace, really long, flapper style length. So let's, that's double. And that's four times. Four times is probably slightly too small, but you could definitely go three. Or another thing you could do would be, um, that's three. You could leave it long and then just tie a knot in the base. I do that with a few of mine actually. Like tie a knot just here and um, like that. And then just let it hang. Let it hang with a knot. I'd probably make that knot much higher though. But yeah, nice vintage piece. Navy blue beads. Acrylic. Oh my goodness, I tried not to have all these knots and tangles. Okay, just leave that like that for now. Let's try and do some of these bits. Okay, this is a seed bead, pearly seed bead. Um, cross that someone has made with the button closure and I just think that's really sweet because I like it when people make an effort to make things you know it's too much of a throwaway society happening these days and if people can reuse recycle um, I, uh, I think it's just you know it's nice saving you know just, just using pieces and not not just living in such a throwaway society um, while I'm untangling this, I will just um, do the, you know, the spiel. So if you like um, any pieces, please email me. My email is in the description and um, we can go from there. Um, please, if you feel so inclined, I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm really, oh, this is part of it. I'm really... Um, just I really want to get some subscribers happening I've got a few and I thank you so much I think I'm up to 33 now and I'm just over a week in so I'm, that's just I love that so much it's so awesome and it's all thanks to you guys so thank you um, please like and subscribe share it if you like it leave a comment um, yeah I just I'm having so much fun. I'm learning heaps. People are giving me some great um, tips as well, which is awesome. And um, yeah, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, I buy it and I like to resell jewellery. Um, I tend to get most of my bags online from auctions. I buy them bulk and they're mystery. So you never really know what you're going to get. Um, so this is, you know, for example, this one is 20 pounds, I believe. And um, we've got some pretty awesome stuff going on here. So yeah, everything is for sale unless I say otherwise. And please just sit back and enjoy it. I try not to make them too long because, um, you know, we've all got things to do, but it's also nice just to take time out to watch a video. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop jibber jabbering away and look at this one. This is gorgeous. It's, um, there's a little tag there, but there's nothing on it. It's just a gorgeous uh, tasseled necklace with rhinestones around the tassel um, on a sort of like an antique bronzy chain. Um, I just want to check that clasp. Did I just see something? I know it's not silver or gold, but I just want to see if I saw something there. It's probably just quicker for me to do it with my loop because you know what I'm like. Okay, so nothing. But yeah, this is really, really pretty. I really like it. Let's try and stretch it out for you. There you go. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm getting really crowded here. Um, I might have to actually, yeah, like empty the table and keep going on the next one. This is a really sweet little um, brass toned bracelet with a tree of life dangle, and the bracelet is it's 
it's nice and heavy. They're not um, chintzy beads, stretchy, be stretchy bracelet. Stretch is good. Okay, this is unfortunately broken, but it's really pretty. Look at the enameling on that. I like it. So it's green and white, and it's a brooch that's not, unless it's not there anymore, unless you can fix it. But I really like that. I'll put that in craft because no doubt that would be um, a nice piece to have to play with. Now let's get this untangled. Um, gold tone bracelet. Yep. And what have I got here? This is a feels like silver tone. I'm just going to um, yeah silver tone chain. Chains are always good to have. I might keep that just uh, in case I find a pendant, which you know we know there are so many. Um, all right, let's have a look and see what this is. I can see a name. Yeah, here we go. Just undo that bit there sure what that okay what do we have here we have Erin oh, that's a bit gorgeous it's a pretty name too let's just have a look and see can you see that Erin and I'll just do it up and let's just do a, a little test with the magnet to see if it's pretty sure it's silver tone but it's just got a nice look about it so um, I just want to check it okay so Erin and yeah uh, let's have a look and see I think it has got a little bit of pull yeah look at that it's pulling okay so silver tone Erin necklace and it's in really good condition like new gorgeous Gonna do this big chunky one so we have a this looks like it's vintage as well it is a spring ring clasp we've got black and wood beads the wood beads have some nice detail and then you've got gold match beads and shiny beads basically the same color tone but then the beads are getting bigger and varying in their design but it's same color tone all the way down so it's a graduated necklace. It sort of goes small, bigger, and then it finishes off smaller down the bottom. Nice. Okay, I've got some little bits here. What's this guy? Um, silver tone chain. And yeah, I'm not sure about this. So she she believed she could so she did and it's got a love heart I don't see anything in there but it, it's nice weight it's got a nice weight to it it's silver tone um, it's pretty it's a necklace just in case you didn't see that yeah okay here we have a bracelet let's have a look and see what this is This is a that's Ganesh, the um, the Asian or yeah Asian inspired uh, talisman, and we have a bracelet with let's just check these pearls if I can faux pearls and glass beads. It's nice. Ah, and it says VT, so someone with initials VT might like that. Nice. Okay, and we have a another necklace. This one is lobster claw clasp. It is <coughs> gold tone with a. I'm not sure what that symbol means, but yeah, it's in good condition. The pendant is yeah. Okay. Very scared. Big hit of looks like small things I should come back to that in a minute um, okay we have a, a cuff bracelet 
acrylic, multicolored. I'll just leave that on. And then I've got some more of these um, flippy floppy things that I don't like and I don't want to sell. So I'm just going to put those over in craft. We have a bracelet. This one's interesting. It's, you've got your, um, your marble look beads there. And I'm just trying to find the clasp. Here it is. Let's have a look and see. What have we got here? No name. Really nice condition. Look at it. It's just gorgeous. That's, I think that's definitely a vintage piece. Really nice. That's probably something I could Google Lens to find out who it is. Yeah. Um, still don't have a match for that one. No matches to any of these. Uh, no matches. Uh, no matches. No matches. Hair clip. Pendant. Pendant, pendant. Okay, so we've got some pendants here. We've got gold tone with mesh. It could be an earring as well. Um, we have a hair clip. We have the cutest ever little cross. It's like a little stumpy cross. How cute is that? I think that's made out of acrylic or maybe polymer clay. And another pendant, which is to stars gold tone okay okay now we're going for time oh i'm gonna do five more minutes and that's it all right let's have a look here cold bracelet i'm guessing these are going to be amethyst let's have a look and see yeah they're all going to amethyst um i will check that pearl I want to feel this pearl. Yeah, the pearl's got grit. So that is an amethyst bracelet, stretchy, with a real pearl. Nice. Okay, I have this, uh, I think it's a lipstick holder. Lipstick holder with a mirror. Okay. Um, what is this number? This looks lovely. I love um, tritone colors. I really, really do. So let's do this guy. It's a tritone necklace. It needs a, it needs a wash. I can easily do that. Um, Lobster claw clasp with gold tone chain. But look how gorgeous that is. I really like that. Yeah, that's what it looks like on the model. I really like it. Yeah, tritone is lovely. Okay, back to here. Uh, okay, so we have a, a little pendant faux highlight. It's not cold. And I think what I'm going to have to do is put all the smalls in a, in a um, gold tone, put all the smalls in a box, and we'll do those at the end because there seem to be so many. I just can't get through them all. Yep, look at all these. That's what I'm going to have to do. So I hope you bear with me and we'll go through the smalls together um, at the end. I'll try not to take too long with my jibber jabbering. This is gorgeous. It's a silver tone, kind of, kind of gold tone um, bracelet with amethyst glass beads. It's really nice. Um, all right, I might stop there. I might just sort out what's left of all the... Um, of the smalls and then so the next video will be not smalls and then we'll just do um the smalls at the end so yeah okay now just let me check this i just it's another pair just thought maybe okay no i thought maybe might they might be kendra scott but they're not i can see another pair here let's get those done they're cute look how cute they are they're enamel post earrings i like those wavy wavies and i can see a pair here together um glass clip-ons they're like amber buttons cute okay if I can see any more just like instantly I'll quickly get them out but um, um, yeah, I can see a bracelet here this is 
silver tone, pearls and silver beads with a toggle clasp. It's really nice. I don't see a name. I'm pretty sure I don't see a name. But that's really nice. Faux pearls and they're acrylic. Okay, now we're at 50, so I'm stopping. Okay, so I will do another video. I'm going to move all of that further away. Um, I'm going to get all of these singles here and put them in a bowl, not in the tray. Um, and we will do them at the end, like I said. But for now, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you loved it. I loved it. And um, I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Um, take care and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you love my video. Um, thank you so much for all your messages. I really love them. Okay, take care. Bye.